Auntie. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. It helps get the video out to other people that may need to hear this message. First things first. Yeah, I only have one Instagram page, one YouTube page. It's at Mecca Dreams. Don't get scammed. You can only book a reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. My videos are timeless, y'all. So this could be past, present, or future, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with y'all, that is okay. You are welcome to check out the other tons of videos that I have on my channel, y'all. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, OG, please come down and protect me as I channel this different energy. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, please come down and guide me. Please protect me and please cover the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Aries need to know? Please and thank you. All right, Aries. So, oh, someone's getting ready to call you. <laughs> Y'all getting ready to get a message. Okay, this is a phone call coming in. Someone's, someone wants to talk to you. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to express love to you. They're thinking about you. Mm -hmm. They want to let you know. <laughs> so someone has you on their mind right now, Aries. I don't know if you want to talk to this person, though. And I just said it. I don't know if you want to talk to this person. Because it, it seems like you could be in a codependent relationship with someone. You may be running from this person. Okay. Or, you, or this is someone that could have been fearful of intimacy with you, fearful of love with you. Okay. So they could have ran from you in different ways. They could have been listening to their ego and pride and it wasn't, it wasn't benefiting them in any way, shape or form. Yeah. Something is outdated. Something is old news. So Something you don't want to give to any longer because you feel like you could have constantly been given to it and you weren't getting any type of change result. Let's see, y'all. Yeah. You have heart with a key. Yes, yeah, time to welcome in love. You're getting ready to meet the one. Okay. You're getting ready to meet someone new. But there's someone here that knows this, <laughs> that knows. That feels, you know, like you're getting ready to leave them. They're deceptive. Girl with a snake. It could be girl with a snake. It could be a man with a snake, a guy with a snake. This person, you need to put boundaries up against this individual. Yeah, they have a lot of addictions. This is someone here that feels like they are running out of time in regards to connecting to you. And they feel like they need more time. They feel like they need more time. In regards to letting you know how they feel, in regards to working on themselves, in regards to trying to break through some type of cycle that they could be in at this time. Yeah, someone here is very codependent. They're very obsessive. They're very possessive. They can even be very controlling in different ways. Okay, they have a lot of addictions that they're hiding from you that they don't want you to know about. Yeah, look at this, and you're about to get the truth. You're about, to re you're about to receive the truth. There's about to be some type of divine revelation that comes in that's going to help you put an ending to this because something needs to be over. Something needs to be end. Something needs to end. Okay, it doesn't need to be a second chance. It doesn't need to be a renewal. It doesn't need to be, you know, some type of new beginning. No, something needs to be over with and done with. It doesn't serve you in your highest good. And it's blocking you in different ways. Mm. Yeah, someone here, they, they you could have given to this person, but they didn't want what you were giving to them at one point in time. And now they want to come back because they got some type of truth that you're the one or you're about to meet the one. And they're like, mm -mm, I'm the one for you. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look at this. You have someone new that's coming towards you. There's new love that's meant to come into your life at this time. That's just what it is. Yeah, someone here doesn't want you to keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. They don't want you to keep an open mind about new love, about meeting anyone new. This is someone here that has a lot of financial difficulties in their life at this time. Someone here is going through a lot of financial problems, a lot of hardships, a lot of blockages in regards to their career. Things that they are touching is not turning to gold, it's turning to coal. It's their karma. Ooh, Aries. Mm. 
<laughs> of course the card would fly. Of course the card would fly. You guys have codependency in the reverse. So yeah, you definitely are freeing yourself from some type of codependent connection, codependent relationship. So something was something is codependent in your life and you're not doing it any longer. You dropped it. You guys have freed yourself from some type of codependent connection. Someone here wanted to keep you stuck. Yeah. It's like you're focusing on forgiving and learning. You guys could be even feeling discontent. Like you're over a situation. You're over it. You don't want to give to it any longer. It could have been very draining to you. Yeah, someone here doesn't want you to realize that you do deserve love. Love is coming for you. Love is coming towards you. Yeah. You were dealing with a past life connection that had control issues. Someone here wanted to dictate different aspects of your life. They wanted to be in control about the way you view yourself, about, the, about how you view others. <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't want me to say this to you, but I'm going to say it anyway. Someone here wanted complete control over you. It could have been a Virgo. Okay, you could have been connecting to a Virgo. Someone here could have Virgo um, in their birth chart. Yeah, this person was thro throwing spiritual and mental attacks at you. And now they're going through it at this time for things that they were throwing at you. Mm, tell me what's going on here. Yeah, I can't make it up. Look at you. You got a new person coming in. There's someone new, Aries, and you better take it. You better take it. This is your spiritual reward. Okay, because someone here is coming back and they're still on this trickster BS. They talk about you not leaving them, but you need to get going. Because why, if you go back, you will get emotionally hurt. You will. You will get emotionally hurt. You will get backstabbed. It's time to leave this person alone. Okay, yeah, you are a healer. Yeah, this person slept on you. They were in denial about you at one point in time. It could have been an Aquarius. All the backstabbing things that they did to you are coming back. Or a Capricorn. Okay, you're an Empress. And this person wanted to wanted to be on demon time with you. You're an empress or an emperor. You are divine. Yeah, they wanted to go towards clones. Okay, or there's a clone or there's some type of fake or fraud that wants to be like you. Yeah, you need to burn sage. They could be trying to beef with you on the internet. They could be trying to send you their negative energy. Could be a Sagittarius involved. Yeah, this person is a hater. They're a hater because you're happy and you're not hating. And they hating and they ain't happy. <laughs> They also have many challenges in their life. I'm seeing here. Oh, man, you have someone new that is coming in, that's coming through. Okay? Someone here wants to know who you are. They want to connect with you. You have a new energy that's coming in, Aries. You have someone completely new that wants to connect with you, that wants to bond with you. And you have this old energy that doesn't want to let you go. There was some type of spell work that they sent to you. But it boomeranged off of you. It boomeranged and hit them because why you're chosen. You can't do spell work on someone who is chosen. <laughs> you're chosen. Yeah, you're also being led to continue to do something that you were born to do. Something that you are amazing at. Since when did you have this come up? There could be people around you coming back towards you because you're, you're bigger or, or you're at a different place of life compared to where you left them at. They're still at the same place. They're trying to figure out how are you elevating? How are you pushing forward so quickly? Why is God favoring you so abundantly, so immensely? You need to pay attention to the red flags. These people have issues, especially with the police. Yes, I'm saying here, drugs and alcohol. These people could be overindulging in drugs, drugs and alcohol. You could also be connecting to someone that has addictions to this. And it's time to break up with this person. This is someone that is losing their mind. They have lost their mind. Because they went up against someone who was chosen. They should have known better. If you know better, you do better. Yeah, the higher fun. God ain't playing about you. Okay, there's a real connection coming in for you. You're getting ready to get married. You're getting ready to meet the one. This is, a, is, this is an admirer coming in. They have a crush on you. Somebody here has been admiring you. The Page of Cups is like an innocent type of crush, an innocent love, an innocent like. Someone here is interested in you, Aries. <clears throat> They want to know about you. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's putting somebody in stress. You could even be in this energy at this time. You could be having anxiety. You could be stressed out. Someone here is stressing out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Someone here is watching. Ooh, they're watching you. Someone here you left out in the cold. They feel abandoned by you. They feel betrayed by you. They're watching you in disbelief. They cannot believe their eyes. This is also someone that could gossip a lot. 
they may they may be getting information, watching you, and then giving it to people that are at a distance from them. From them, what they're seeing is that they you have suitors coming in. The Knight of Cups. You have people that are interested in you. What's the page of swords? It could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this person feels rejected by you. The Four of Cups. They feel like you rejected them. They could even be getting readings done on you. I'm seeing here. There was something that they were watering or or giving to for a long period of time. They were doing something, trying to watch something grow in your life, and now they feel like it's it's being rejected. They didn't get their way. The Eight of Swords. And it's putting them in mental conflict. It's also something that you're doing for work. You may work from home, eight of pentacles. You could be very, very financially abundant. I'm sorry, y'all. I wanted to show y'all. It's the eight of swords. You could be um very, very oh, sorry. You guys could be very, very um abundant financially. And it's putting this person in a place of stress because it's like you're elevating in different aspects of your life. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords here. Okay, it's, it, it's something about your money. Yeah, I cannot make it up. Somebody knows that you have a crush coming in. The Page of Cups to the, hi ooh, to the Hierophant. You have someone new coming in and it's putting this person at a place of stress because they feel like they need to come to apologize to you. They feel like you're the person that they're supposed to be in this high level of commitment with. They, they are stressing out about it. Whatever they're seeing is putting them in a place of mental conflict. It's putting them at a, at, at a place of wanting to talk to you, wanting to, wanting to communicate how they feel about you, wanting to, wanting to express that they, they found God. Higher five, they going to church, they're praying more, they're more they're more spiritual. Oh my goodness. What is this about? Yeah, it could be a Virgo, the magician. Someone here is definitely stuck in their head because they're trying to manifest a relationship with you, you know, a family with you, a deep emotional bond with you. I'm silent because it is very rare Ooh, when the Wheel of Fortune comes out in the reverse, y'all. It's very, very rare, and it ain't a good omen at all. This person, oh my gosh, they have messed with Father God. Someone here was trying to get you off of your pathway, get you off of your track. I'm, I'm, I have chills right now. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse is nothing but bad karma, negative external forces coming after you, okay? You feeling like everything you touch is, is a disaster, chaos. Bad karma follows you with every step that you take with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. It's something that you did wrong that was against karmic law, and now... You're getting ready to receive your just desserts in the most worst way. A Virgo could be significant. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus is here. Oh my, why is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Somebody here went, they, they, they did something too fast. They did something too fast. They moved too fast, especially when it got in with sex, thinking that they were going to be on top. Someone here could be going, they, they could have been the type of person that you could have been dealing with someone here that was jumping to different people that they feel like was in the public eye or that can bring them attention or or recognition. Yeah, somebody here is complete. They're promiscuous. The queen of wands in the reverse. And they needed to trust their intuition because you're the empress. It's the queen of wands. Somebody here has been this. This person has been being deceptive, and they don't see that karma is after them. The Seven of Swords. There could have been another individual here, guys, that was throwing some type of spell work at you, and now they have sealed their fate. Somebody here was trying to get away with things, not seeing that they were heading straight towards karma. Whatever they were working on, they could have been throwing something at your work. Okay, this is someone that could have been envious or jealous of you. Yeah, look at this. They did not see. They were stressed out because you kept getting your way. They were trying to sabotage your good karma from coming in or coming towards you. But you're strong. You're powerful. You kept overcoming things and you kept getting your, your prayers answered. 
So there was people behind the scenes that was trying to stop you in different ways. They also could have been trying to put pressure on you energetically to not be open to love or not want to embrace love. This is Leo energy here. It could have been a fire sign doing this and a water sign. Someone here likes using sex to get their way or to, to, to show emotions and feelings. This could be a male or a female. The cards are just an energy. This person's out of whack and they're off balance. I cannot make it up. Yeah, the king of cups now. This could have been someone that they were in a relationship with or a partnership, and now they're they're making their way towards closing the cycle out. The two of wands to the world card. Somebody here doesn't want to do it any longer. Aries, you have people trying to come up against you, trying to stop love. This could have been people that someone here that you were dealing with could have had a child, but they could have had someone on the side that they were sleeping with that was spread their legs whenever. Okay, they, they may have had a child or family with this individual, okay? And this woman was betraying you, lying to, cheating, like lying on your name. She didn't know that she was receiving, she was accruing bad karma and she was heading straight towards karma being sneaky and manipulative. Someone here was trying to manifest you to be in places to be mentally trapped, but that's not what's happening for you. You have not only blessings coming in, Okay, with the Knight of Cups, but you also have an admirer coming in and someone here looks at you as a leader, as a visionary. The higher find is someone here that you can look up to, that inspires, okay, that shows a, a good example of what it is to be like God. Yeah. Literally, these, this person wanted to give to you and someone else and they were acting like everything is fine. They could have betrayed you in different ways, but they didn't know you were going to come out on top. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I cannot make it up. Ooh, you're going to come out on top with the six of wands. You're going to need to come out on top. Whatever this person did, it could never, it couldn't stop your success. It couldn't cop, it couldn't stop your growth. Okay. It couldn't, it couldn't stop it. Somebody here was trying to, um, they're about to get caught. They wanted to cop something in New York. That's like slang for like taking something buying something someone here could have been watching different things that you have and they could have been wanting to get different things like you with the six of pentacles they've been watching you through tarot and it's like someone here has been getting very angry about what they've been seeing what they've been hearing and about all the success that's coming towards you tarot it's like this person is watching tarot and tarot is revealing that you're winning in life that you have someone new with the page of cups coming in that you're overcoming any type of obstacle or delay that comes to your path with the chariot you are on top and it's making people fearful and scary and wanting to shake in their boots aries you have nothing to worry about there's someone new coming in it's there's someone new coming in you're pushing forward in the right direction and on this path you're going to be meeting this person i hope this resonated with y'all don't forget to subscribe like share and comment okay i'm sending you a peace of night always and i will see y'all on the next video